Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101, and how would you like to have another flashlight review or another knife review? Okay, we'll do that later. But for those of you that said, Yeah, I hate your stupid knife and flashlights. Do it all the time. Do something different. I got something different for you. I was bored, I don't know, a week or two ago, and I was doing what I always do when I get bored, and that is I was looking through the Cold Steel catalog to find out what kind of crazy-ass toys they got that I ain't played with yet. And I, I settled upon a page, which I was like, you know what? This might actually work for me right now. And it was all their new polypropylene walking sticks. Because you see, the kids have been killing me. I go to the gym every morning, do about an hour on the elliptical, and then I do everything else. And then on top of that, we get, you know, a couple hours of walking around on concrete, flicking our phones, throwing balls at imaginary creatures. So, yeah, been... I, I, I've blown up my fitness tracker twice already. I've replaced it. It's just like, the numbers don't go that high. Quit walking. So, me being an old guy in my early 40s, every once in a while my knee kind of goes a little squirrely. And it sucks. So, right that time that I got these walking sticks, I was like, hmm, perfect timing. So, I've got a couple of them to show you here, including my favorite one which you'll find out why it's my favorite one here in a moment. So if you want to be blown away by the awesomeness of unbreakable walking sticks that are a little crazy, don't go away. So I've got three to show you here, and we're going to start with the one that I purchased myself. Two of them were uh, provided by Cold Steel because I told them I was going to do this video, and I was kind of interested in some of the other things. There are other ones that they've got that I want that just were not in stock. So as soon as I find one, I will put an order in myself and get it. But for now, let's talk about my favorite one so far and why this is actually kind of useful in a couple different ways, including a legitimate bushcraft reason brought to you from the bushcrafty mind of Will Myers. He actually came up with it. I'm like, wow, don't I feel dumb? I didn't think of that. Anyway, Cold Steel Axe Head Cane. Why do I like this one? First of all, I like walking sticks. I don't always use them. I don't always need them. But a couple years ago, I had surgery. They cut my guts out. They took my guts out. They put them on the table over here. Like, I'm over here. My guts are over here. They got in there, and they started digging out stuff. And then they took my guts, put them back in me, sewed me up, and subjected me to pain for the next month and a half. It was very hard to get out of chairs, move around, stuff like that. So I was like, eh, I need a walking stick. And not some piece of crap, old person, CVS walking stick. I want something I can bash somebody's head in with if I have to. When it comes to that, the only game in town is cold steel. So I got an Irish Blackthorn walking stick and it was pretty cool. I actually had a lot of people come up to me like, oh, that's a pretty cool walking stick. I'm like, you're right, it is a pretty cool walking stick, isn't it? I don't know where it is anymore. But now let's talk about this one. Now this works for me. I don't know the exact length, but maybe if I'm smart and I remember to review my editing, I'll put it on the screen right now. But being a little guy that is five foot eight it is the perfect height for me now the axe head cane is modeled after uh, fighting cane designs fighting cane what yeah uh, they actually have techniques and stuff there's some crazy videos I mean if you know what you're doing you can really F someone up with a cane this one especially because you can hook people back here you know behind the joints whatever you know Pull, you know, doing all this crazy Bruce Lee stuff I don't know how to do but this thing is sharp and the best thing I could say about this is it just feels like it's not too big it's not too small it's weighted just right I mean I feel like if you knew what you were doing which I clearly don't you can move this thing around and do a lot of stuff with it and bam bam you know right up under the nose I mean if someone knows what the hell they're doing you can you can open up a can of pain on somebody with this thing. <laughs> but. 
but it's also an unbreakable cane walking stick it's pretty cool and it's just the right height for me where if i'm just using it you know while i'm watching my kids praying that they don't drop our smartphones and i, I can just hold it like this and walk with it or once the pain kicks in you know i can hold it like a cane and actually keep a little bit of the weight off of my knee for a freaking minute so that's cool uh i paid i want to say about 25 bucks for this thing at knifecenter.com so out of all the ones that they have uh there is another one it's a close second which i'm going to show you here in a minute this is my favorite one this one is cool this one it's one of those ones, it's kind of like Jessica X, because I, I had to find a way to get Jessica X in this video. Self-promotion. But I always say about Jessica X, you got to get it in your hand to understand it. And when you get this thing in your hand, you're like, oh yeah, where's the ninjas at? <laughs> I got this. But we're trying to think, you know, legitimate uses out in the woods. Well, one legitimate thing I did with this uh, earlier in the week, I wasn't filming, but I was just out in the woods doing my thing. Uh, checking my spots and I wanted to go up this kind of steep embankment to see what's up there like, How am I gonna get up there I'm trying to grab I'm like wait a minute? I got this freaking grappling hook on a stick right here, and I was able to Reach up and grab this large tree root. And I was like, okay. Yeah, I got it. I'm able to pull myself up using this hey, That's useful and then crossing the creek, you know the slippery rocks and stuff Always good to have a third point of contact. But Will's got some uh, other bushcrafty uses for this that he came up with. Actually, he didn't come up with it, but he's like, hey, we we make, we make use sticks and branches to make these, but this would work really well for it. So take it away, Will. Take three. Take three. <laughs> All right, so what Chris is talking about, um, when it's harvest time in the woods for you know berries, nuts, things like that, et cetera, et cetera, we use <clears throat> Y sticks, hook sticks, you know, similar to this, but we will tie loops at the bottom that hang down like this. And, uh, you know, once you're done, well, the way that I harvest is I have like a basket that hangs off of my neck so I can harvest hands free. Both hands are, are doing the work. So something like this, <clears throat> it can be useful for when I'm, I've made my circumference around the tree once and now what I want to harvest is higher up on the tree. I could take a hook stick like this and I can grab the branch, pull it down to me, and then take it down to the ground, step on the loop or in the loop, and now that branch is pinned to the ground and again, I'm hands free. I can collect, harvest, and move on. Never, never thought we would have got a bushcraft. Next we'll be uh, striking a ferro rod with this. No, but, uh, yeah, I mean, just the, the design of this is really, really good. I like This is my favorite one. But wait, there's more. Now, they sent me another one. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. Right here. I'll get it. Assistant, to me. Thank you. Hey, people are going to think that's me. That ain't me. No. <laughs> that's my kid. Yeah. <laughs> you don't talk to me that way, boy. Yeah, watch the upcoming convoy flashlight video where I accidentally blind them both. <laughs> I'm amazing you act amazed you actually found it. So, even though I'm just pretending to be a badass uh, with that stick, there actually is a badass that is, what the bloody hell? Is that a cicada? Next, we're going to test this thing out on a freaking bug. As if the chainsaws earlier weren't enough! Where's the ice cream, man? I want ice cream. Shut up. Yeah. Yay, skaters are so much fun. Um, as I was saying, an actual badass designed a stick. His name's Steven Seagal. Maybe you've heard of him. You probably saw him flipping guys through windows because he loves to throw guys through windows. But he came out with this. I believe it's called the Ten Shin. I don't know. I'm, I'm in, right now I'm experiencing the wonders of being in the woods with no data. No data signal at all, which... For someone like me that lives on the internet, that kind of sucks. But yeah, he came up with this, and this was uh, this actually arrived before the stick that I ordered. So I pulled that out. I'm like, whoa, that's that Steven Seagal stick. That's pretty cool. Let I me mean, look at that thing. Uh, I mean, I like the size, I like the weight, and I'm like, yeah, this feels like something you could actually swing at somebody. Uh, wait a minute. 
I'm looking at this thing. I'm looking at the shape of it. I'm like, is this supposed to be a boken? So I get on the website, wonders of Google, and yes, this stick, reversed, actually is a polypropylene boken. I don't want to like amaze you with my sword fighting skills right now, so you just have to take my word for it. Target buckle. Yeah. But yeah, you can do that. So I watched some other videos on this, and I saw one reviewer, and he was saying that he thought that maybe this was backwards, like this was going to get in the way somehow. And I'm like, I don't fight with swords all that often, but um, I don't see it getting in the way. And being that Steven Seagal is like this badass and he designed it, I'm pretty sure he would have, hey, gee, you know, maybe that's backwards. Nope, seems to work. Now, here's the key thing. This is just right for me being five uh, foot eight. Now, the 10 shin's a little bit bigger than the axe head cane. So, there you can see the height difference between the two. So for me, I'm generally holding it like this, holding it like a walking stick. But you can if you want to get it to where you're holding it. And I think it's because Steven Seagal is freaking huge. I mean, he's this big, big guy. I saw him once when I was in the Navy. They're actually, they filmed that under siege on the Missouri. And the Missouri was parked right next to my ship. So... Everybody was talking about Steven Seagal. But he's a big guy. It's probably why this is a little bit longer. But this one comes with the rubber tip. I don't know if I mentioned it on the other one or not because I've shot this video three times. But you have to actually purchase one of these like from the cane store, like CVS, Walgreens, drugstore. Uh, Seven-eighths inch diameter or one inch diameter will work. See, I could throw that. It ain't going to hurt it because it's cold steel polypropylene but this one actually comes with it because it's kind of the funky shape and the sizes is a little is consistent up to a certain point so you can they say you can cut this to size it to the, the size that you need take this off put it back on and you'll be good to go so it's not gonna work it might work a little bit for Will's little pick and berries trick but this is just a big robust Pretty cool looking stick. Now the other one was about 25 bucks. I want to say this one's, uh, I've seen a bunch of different prices. It was like 55 bucks MSRP in the cold steel catalog, which is usually less than that. Don't quote me on that though. I think that's what I saw. But wait, there's more. They did surprise me with one that I didn't ask for. And this is kind of like my Gandalf stick. Wow, this one's a lot bigger, isn't it? Remember earlier in the video when I was telling that awesome story about them cutting my guts out, putting them on the table, and then putting them back in and sewing me up? Well, that was the Irish Blackthorn walking stick that I had then. This is the, this is like the E.J. Snyder version of it, because if you haven't seen E.J., he's quite large, kind of like Steven Seagal, but he's probably bigger. Uh, yeah, this is more of like a walking staff sort of thing, so a lot higher. Some people may prefer that kind of walking stick or when they're out in the woods. Me, eh, I don't know. Seems like it's a bit much. Now, the earlier Cold Steel Irish uh, Blackthorn walking stick was very similar. Very similar uh, top and all that, but the, 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 like the thorny parts or whatever the hell these things are called were nowhere near as pronounced as they are on this. So... You're not going to be doing any kind of Donatello crazy staff stick fighting with this thing, with all this. This is pretty much what it's made for. It's a big walking stick. It's not really for me. You don't ask me to give it to you because I don't want to ship this thing. You see how long this thing is? Yeah. It came in a box to the freaking size of my car. But I'll use it someday, I'm sure. 
Or I'll find like a wizard that's lost his stick. Here, go cast a spell. It's like, excuse me, wizard. Um, do you need a new stick? So I got this. This is perfect. And you can do the whole, you shall not comment. Cast a little ban the troll spell or whatever. I've completely lost my freaking mind. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I actually have gotten out in the woods for the first time in like a couple weeks. Either that or it's because this is the third time we've done this video. Or that. <laughs> or that. Or could it be that this is the third take and these freaking bugs from hell are making all this noise! <laughs> God. It's, a, it's like... It's like they're all seeing, would you review this Gerber knife? Review this Gerber knife. Would you buy this? I'm trying to make a decision on a knife. Please buy it and review it. What am I going to do with it after I bought it? Okay, enough about this. This one ain't really for me, but maybe it's for you. So, Dunzo. however, I'll go back to it one more time because it's awesome. I almost wish... Whoa, I'm not going there. I'm really good at manifesting crap, so... But, oh, alligator, jump out, bite my leg off, so I can use my cane. It probably would freaking happen. This one. This one's cool. And I'm telling you, when you get it in your hand, you're going to be like... Here, watch, watch what happens when I hook Will. Yeah. Wow, you bastard. Will stabs him in the chest, <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very hooky. All right, I've completely lost my mind, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. It was something different. It was something fun. Uh, and Cold Steel's got a bunch of other cool stuff that I'll probably get. They have one other one. Like, let's say, for instance, you just want a plain Jane walking stick made of this unbreakable material. They got another one called the Walkabout. I don't have it yet, but I will because it's cool. You know, it's just simple. I, I just like the idea of this lightweight, unbreakable stuff. That one might be a little bit more your speed. So maybe I'll get a couple more things and do a second video. This one is the one that I'm going to recommend, followed closely by that 10 chin, if that's your sort of thing. You know, like you do the Bushido practice. Because all of you guys watching my channel are ninjas, right? No? What okay. if ninjas, maybe? Yeah, well... I'm sure there's at least one of you guys out there that's got a bum leg. You. No, not you. Your leg hurts, doesn't it? Get one of these things, you'll like it. All right, guys, I'm Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Links are in the description box below, and I'll either be in the loony bin or I'll be back with another video here soon. So, see you then. No, I did not. Not on drugs or anything like that. I'm just like really freaking wired right now. I'm out in the woods. I've been locked. I've been stuck with the wife and kids for like weeks. It feels like summer's almost up. My wife's a teacher, so everybody's at home right now. Go back to school, please. So they have to take Chris to the puzzle factory. Yeah. Okay. See you next time.